TikTok user Katie with two E's, five, six, eight, posted a video showing a worker cleaning around her at her gym. She posted this with the caption, when the cleaner wants in on your deadlift. Before I share my opinion on this, I wanna show you a similar video of almost the exact same situation and how someone else responds. Have a look. Thus, the number one gym man in our hearts, Joey Swole, weighed in. So in the first video, she gets too close to you. She's cleaning, doing her job, not paying attention. But you decide, hey, I caught that on film. Let me post it on social media to make fun of her, all for likes and attention. And then you go and support a comment like this, saying that you should drop the weight on her. Second video, almost the exact same situation. He's cleaning, he gets too close to Charlie while he's in set. But Charlie takes a different approach. He stands up, he thanks the man, he treats him with kindness and respect like a human being and explains to him why what he was doing could be dangerous and distracting. This is actually very sound advice that I truly wish Katie568 would take more from Joey. You know, on social media today and in gyms, we see so much disrespect for custodians, for janitors, for the people that clean the gym that we should be so grateful for. And it's really sad to see, especially when you post a video like this just to get some likes and attention at their expense. And you know what? They're human beings too. We all make mistakes. We all deserve kindness and respect. You need to do better. Be more like Charlie. Well put. Then there's more insights into how problematic this is. This video triggers a lot of negative memories of mine of when I ran gyms and how people would treat the maintenance staff. So I remember this one time I set this meeting where we we're going to go over um, new company policies, what the goals were, stuff like that. Um, but also talking about odds and ends stuff, right? Like, you know, if you come across trash or weights, you know, you make sure you pick them up and put it away. Um, also, I was very big on acknowledging everybody um, within the gyms, pe customers coming in and out, all the staff just saying hi and bye. Even if they say nothing back to you, just acknowledge their presence. So we get to the end of the meeting and one of the employees raises his hand and I go, yeah. He goes, is that the reason why we have janitors? And I wish someone had a video of my face because I was told afterwards that my face changed because I hate when people think just because there's a maintenance staff or a janitor that they're just at their beck and call. And I usually live by this philosophy of praise in public, scold in private. But this one time I made the exception to the rule and I looked at him and I said, if you ever say that in front of me again, you can go ahead and look for another job. Needless to say, he never did that again, and he was always adamant about picking up after himself. But what I tell people at the end of the day, people are just trying to get by. Treat them like human beings and pretend that the person who is cleaning your facility or doing something that keeps everything nice, pretend that's your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, your cousin, your grandparent, you know, someone that is in your life that is just trying to make ends meet. And side note, this lady who posted that video I tried to search her account, I couldn't find it, but I came across this interesting video where she's being interviewed about um, how she got into powerlifting and how uh, she overcame eating disorders. I find it very disturbing that people try to be inspirational and yet turn out to be the biggest pieces of If you're gonna live this lifestyle, if you're gonna tell people how to become better at something in life, make sure you're following what you're saying. Big ups to Ben for the upload and insights.